on Capitol Hill. It's in a state of alert due to new threats of violence. Extra security has been added, and today, House lawmakers chose not to meet in person. Why? As a precaution, because today, March 4th, is an important date for pro-Trump extremists because it was once America's actual inauguration day. Some believe that the former president will retake office later today. This week, the FBI warned January's violent attack, which killed one police officer and injured dozens more, was unlikely to be an isolated incident. Chris Van Cleve is along the security perimeter outside the Capitol for us this morning. Chris, good morning to you. What's it like where you are? Well, good morning. Security is once again ramping up outside the Capitol. In fact, staff have been encouraged to work from home if they can, and the Capitol Police have moved to an all-hands-on-deck footing for at least the next few days. The nation's capital on high alert this morning after a federal intelligence bulletin warned a group of militia violent extremists discussed plans to take control of the U.S. Capitol and remove Democratic lawmakers on or about March 4th. We do have some concerning intelligence. That intelligence is law enforcement sensitive. We've taken immediate steps to let uh, the National Guard as well as our workforce know what to expect. Acting Capitol Police Chief Yogananda Pittman briefed lawmakers yesterday. We know that the threats are through the roof. Facebook confirms it is monitoring efforts to attempt or coordinate actions tied to a QAnon conspiracy theory that former President Trump will rise to power today. These latest threats come as confusion continues over the timeline of the January 6th attack. Major General William Walker, the commander of the D.C. National Guard, told senators he received a frantic call at 1.49 p.m. that day from then Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sund. Chief Sund. His voice cracking with emotion indicated that there was a dire emergency at the Capitol, and he requested the immediate assistance of as many available National Guardsmen that I could muster. But he said it took more than three hours to get the Defense Department to approve sending troops to the Capitol. Seconds mattered. Minutes mattered. Walker blamed the unprecedented and slow response on the Pentagon. The Army senior leaders did not think that it looked good. It would be a good optic. They further stated that it could for, it could incite the uh, the crowd. He was asked if that same consideration had been made last summer when the guard was also called to respond to Black Lives Matter protests. It was never discussed uh, the week of June. It was never discussed July 4th when we were supporting the city. It was never discussed August 28th when we supported the city. This intelligence confusion appears to be continuing past the 6th. Earlier this week, the House Sergeant at Arms sent an email saying it appeared the threats aimed at today were on the decline. Less than 24 hours later, new alerts saying those threats are back. Anthony? Chris, thank you.